Hey loves, it's Tasha Renee back with another video and today we're going to be doing a cooking video. Um, I'm going to do a chicken pot pie crock pot meal. So stay tuned if you're interested. Okay, getting started, I'm going to go ahead and start with cream of celery, the smaller can, and the bigger can of cream of chicken. Um, those are two I like to combine when I'm making this meal. I also like to use black pepper and red pepper flakes. Give it a little kick. Also, I do like to use, I only like to add one banyan cube, if that's how you pronounce it. Probably didn't pronounce that right. As well as a slow cooker liner. It makes cleanup super easy and the petite gold gourmet potatoes. They're their little small ones. I do have my chicken breasts here, the three medium size. I'm already cleaned them and got all of the fat off that I could get. After getting the aligner in, I'll go ahead and turn the crock pot on low. After that, I will go ahead and put the chicken breast in evenly on the bottom. This is what it would look like once I place them in. Okay, so I went ahead and started this meal around 10.30 a.m. ish around like 10 30 10 35 something in that nature So this is what it would look like once all the ingredients are in. Don't forget to add that banyan cube. If I'm saying that right, I'm pretty sure I'm not. <laughs> Don't judge me. On to the potatoes. For me, I sometimes like to cut the skin off of the potatoes and sometimes I don't. Um, this time I did not. I just cleaned them really good and I left this, the skin on only because I was literally on break. So I had to hurry up and get done. Um, and then I cut them in fours. Once I cut them in fours, I rinsed them off one more time and I did use the whole bag. I rinsed them off one more time and then I get them put in the pot.
using a frozen bag of peas and carrots. Um, I don't like, they're the steamers, but I like to break them up so they look like evenly. Um, and then put them in the pot along with frozen chopped onions. After putting the frozen vegetables on top, I do like to put onion powder and garlic powder on top of that um, for additional seasoning. And let this meal cook for about, I'll say, five to six hours on low and then I bring it up to high um, after I chop up the chicken. So that's what I'm about to do now. I'm fishing out the three chicken breasts that I did have um, so I can fork apart the, the chicken so I can shred it. You could also use a mixer, a handheld mixer. Um, I don't have one of those, so I do it by hand with two forks. Also, I do want to know, you will know when the chicken is done when it literally falls apart while you're pulling it out of the, the crock pot. So like if you run whatever utensil that you're using against it and it falls apart, it's done. Okay, so once you got it nice and shredded, like so, I'm just making sure I didn't miss any chunks of chicken, which is, I missed about a piece or two. You're going to go ahead and dump that in the mixture. That's okay if you have vegetables mixed in there. I had a couple of carrots and peas, but once you put it in there, you go ahead and stir it around, which will also help thicken up that brew you got going. So after that, now it's literally time for the biscuits because technically it's done. It really don't matter what type of biscuits you decide to use. I've used the original flaky, um, I've used the honey butter flaky. It really doesn't matter. Also, I do like to spray um, some olive oil on there. so. The biscuits won't stick to the plastic. I also do that when I didn't have liners um, to make sure the biscuits don't stick and easy to remove. Okay, so this is what the biscuits look like after putting them in. Remember to turn them on high. I left them in for about 30 to 35 minutes. And this is the finished result. If you like, please comment, subscribe, and leave a like. And thank you for watching. Bye, loves.